Hello class, uh, this is your weekly feel good video about uh, and I'll, about good science and you know good mental health. Uh, so <clears throat> the, the article I decided to talk about today is about Pharma Goes to Space. And uh, well, I mean, here on Earth, of course, we have gravity. And although out in space there is gravity, for quoting the article, 90%, uh, but it's in the, a state of free fall, so it, it, you feel weightless. And when that happens, many chemical and physical processes change. So not in the article, but, but fire. Fire is very different in space than it is here, or in microgravity or, no, or weightlessness than, than it is you know, on, with a full 1G of gravity. Uh, the, the flames tend to kind of be a lot more spherical and uh, whereas flames here on earth tend to like if you like if you had a candle you have like kind of a tear shaped where uh, in space it'd be more of a, a spherical sort of, uh, of a pattern because like I said there's no gravity. Uh, also not in the article uh, certain things about humans change uh, so astronauts report like a constant sort of stuffy nose because there's no gravity to pull down like your your mucus and whatnot in your sinuses so you just kind of turn into this big ball of of mucus and um, also it's really hard to taste anything uh, so astronauts the the thing that they love is spicy food so astronauts love to eat spicy food and and uh, because spice is not really a taste it's really your pain receptors so they they but apparently people in space just like that's what they crave is spicy food and, and stuff um, and then back when they come back down to earth uh, and I remember an astronaut uh, he, he talked about he just wanted to eat salad and that's all he wanted to do was eat salad so I guess yeah you crave salads in space I guess uh, so but with this d drug discovery and uh, leading the way, I guess, is big pharma, but they don't talk too much about this in the article. They're just kind of looking at things. They're looking at a, at a, at a crystallization of uh, proteins. So proteins, of course, these are uh, how uh, animals, plants also have cell walls and cellulose, but it's where animals get, we get our structure from and, and many other biomolecules are, are proteins. Uh, and uh, when we, make them and we crystallize them. The, the ones in space appear to be better. Uh, they're, they seem to be more perfect or there's less, less defects and they grow bigger crystals. So I don't know, maybe gemstones will be grown in space soon. That'll be interesting to see if that in that regards we can have space diamonds. So, but it's, it's an interesting article I think and it's also, you know, where, where we're going. Uh, you know, one of, uh, I guess we're, we're not investing, well we're investing money in this, but uh, uh, the, the real push right now is probably more towards um, computers, uh, so uh, AI and, and, um, and learning, uh, so learning machines, AI, these kind of things. So, uh, and integrating that with, uh, with, with uh, science in general and life in general. But you know, I mean, we are starting to do this. We're starting to... to um, go out into space and we're looking at uh, privatization of this so SpaceX is already a company right so so who knows who knows what's going to happen in the future if we're going to start having manufacturing facilities uh, out in orbit around the earth or something so if they find out that things can be made better in space why not you know so I mean if we have the the, the know-how and there's an economic need and scientific need and you know that's that's one of the thing places that will go so interesting oh you can see the astronaut tied her hair back uh because because um, your hair just would go wild if it wasn't for uh for that without the with the microgravity yeah you, you see these movies with the um the people with just fabulous hair all the time like no that's not really how it works you gotta have it tied back and you can even see this strand is kind of floating off it's on its own Apparently sleep in space is amazing. That's, I don't know. Never been to space, so I, I, can't, I can't really tell you. So, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the article. Uh, also with these, I, I mean, so you know, I, I wish you well. Um, if there's anything you need, um, if you find yourself uh, uh, not having your basic needs met, uh, if you find yourself just 
mental health not doing well, feeling depressed, overly anxious. And that's this is a very common thing. And I, I've been seeing this more and more uh, as a faculty member. My students are feeling this. So, uh, I mean, and unfortunately, that's a cycle. It, it seemed during the, the start of the pandemic, um, basic needs was, was really rough for people. And, and then we kind of all had, you know, a sense of camaraderie and loneliness, you know, kind of during the, the worst part of the pandemic. And now that we're kind of on the tail end, you know, right, we're, we're our vac- we have vaccines and we have very effective treatments. So uh, likelihood of becoming very sick and dying is very, is much lower than it was before. Um, but now because we're, we're dealing with these other issues, so it's the mental issues. And so, um, and there's, I'm very well connected. I, I'd like to help you. So if, if you do feel, if you find yourself in need or anyone else, your loved ones are in need. Uh, I mean, it's not just, just school programs. There's also public programs, right? So let me know, let me know what I can do to help. And again, I, that's, that's what my role is among other things as a faculty member, not just a subject expert, but to, to be a triage, of course, and I do care. I mean, it's not I don't care. I do care. This is something I want to do and I'm volunteering to do. Also to inspire you. And that's the reason why I'm showing you these articles, right? And because it makes you, also shows you that, you know, science and I'm very slanted towards chemistry. Chemistry is useful. Chemistry is awesome, right? And, and look where we're going. We're going to space, right? So, all right, well, hope you have a nice weekend and think about all the fun things you can do in space. So, aloha for now.